all fresh out the uh, menace word of the day. Yeah. Seabass has uh, come armed with these uh, rankings of our high schools, either the high schools that we graduated from. Uh, you might think Menace is going to be dead last, but is he? Mm. Right. That's the thing. Maybe. Who Maybe knows? you said you had some guesses. <laughs> I think and this is, hold on, this is based on what? Like, what U.S. Like, News and World Report. U.S. They, News and World Report. They've been doing Report. this for years. They do colleges, of course, but they also do high schools. I think Woody's is number one, and I think Menace's is last. Why do you say Woody's? You have some local knowledge there. Right. I'm just kind of familiar with that. Uh, high school, and you never, you only really hear glowing things about how good it is academic wise. But you don't hear that from Woody because he was a bad kid, kicked out of everywhere he was in. Well, he was a misunderstood kid. Didn't go I to college. To... So you would think just from Woody, you're like, oh, he went to some generic right. whatever. Exactly. Yeah, but... but I graduated from Mount Lebanon High School in Pittsburgh. Did you go there the full year? Yeah. Yep. And then uh, yeah, graduated from there. Ravy went to Plum mm-hmm. Borough, also in the Plum Pittsburgh. Plum High, mm-hmm. which I think is probably somewhere in the middle of the pack. Somewhere in the middle of the pack. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, uh, Greg, you went where? Uh, my guess was you as well. Didn't Mark Cuban go there? Yes. Yep. So that was one oh. reason. And then the other one was everything you tell me about it, it sounds like a movie you would see in a high school. Like lots of students. A movie you'd see in high school. I mean, yeah. about like, high school. Sorry. Like a John Hughes uh, movie. No, 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 yeah. Possibly, yeah. A, possibly in high school. Yeah, maybe yeah. you saw it in high school. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, that's what I meant. Yeah. It's massively you're huge. You're in high school. You're watching a movie. It's got six yeah. floors. It looks like a giant office complex. Right. Yeah. And you know, for where I an went to school, aquatic center, it's a say, stadium. Right. It's say yeah. eighteen hundred at least. These are these are all current day, of course. And I'm, uh-huh. it's yeah. in a pretty affluent area. And Ooh. when you compare that to where I went to school, it, that sounds like something straight out of a movie. Yeah, but what what was the high school you went to that you graduated from? Two hundred graduating in my class. A total of about seven hundred students. Okay. Uh, What's it called? Uh, Terra Linda. Terra Linda. There we go. Dumpy. That's in Marin uh, County, California. Right. It was just... painted with hand-me-down paint from a prison. <laughs> it was so ugly. You it was think... so crappy. But Marin's also yeah. very affluent. Yeah. yeah. It is, but it's also kind of dumpy. You know, like it's not mm. up well kept. Is that wine country or no? No. 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 It's no. adjacent. And then. Uh, the first time I ever saw an indoor pool in my life was in your area. So <laughs> that makes me think it's just, it's got to be good. Hmm. you know, Because it has an indoor pool. Yeah, and I'm yeah. thinking mine's going to be at the, the worst. We so, had to have an no indoor way. pool because of weather. Right. So the Menace, uh, Newark Memorial. Yep. But Wait, not Newark, in, New Jersey. Yeah, no. Newark Memorial. Newark, Newark California, California, which is in the Bay Area. Which is yes. south, southeast Bay. So this is not San Francisco, not Oakland, but kind of towards yeah. towards like the uh, Silicon Valley area, but the other side. But we've yep. been calling it yep. out for years. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Newark. As a failure. Yeah. I mean, because of Greg's, yeah, it is an affluent area where yeah. Greg came from, and the parents wouldn't put up with. The education. Yeah, didn't your parents' all... country club have a school or something? Right? Yeah. <laughs> country club. Yeah. yeah. They wouldn't put up with that crap. Oh, but, no. uh, no. Yeah, where I grew up, yes, they would definitely put up with it. And then, Sammy, you graduated from? Valencia High School in California. Okay. Yes. Which is uh, yes. north of L.A. Richer. Right. Not the richest suburb, but a richer. Yes, yeah, suburb of affluent. L.A. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, like a, like a middle, upper middle to upper class, depending on, you know, what area Mm. Yeah, yeah. Every town has a bad neighborhood. No, I'm saying because it's it's such a big, like the area where her school is is such a big area that encompasses like three different towns. Right. Yes. And and so many kids. There's like I think three thousand kids that go to the school. We had about that. We had I think about nine hundred in our graduating class. There's a ton of kids. Yeah. Yeah, It's kind of all over. Mm. But um, and then Seabass, you went to a uh, private school, uh, Montgomery Bell Academy in uh, Nashville. That's private school. So it technically it's not included in these rankings specifically. But I have the rankings within private schools. So I'm kind of above and beyond beyond you guys. Essentially, it's apples and oranges. Oh, okay. A little bit. All right. It really is not a fair comparison. You can't really compare private schools to. Yeah, because I I, I, I plugged it into the website and it gave me a totally different ranking, totally Mm. different look at Mm. what's in them because they don't don't have to report necessarily like the public schools do. So So going into this, what were your guesses? My guess was. Before you saw the information. My guess Mm -hmm. was Menace would be the worst. (laughs) Okay. And my guess. Was confirmed. Nice. Oh, we out here. The worst. <laughs> <laughs> now, that being said, the surprise is no way. Yeah. That yeah, being like how said, do they rank it? The, yeah. So they rank it. They have, they give a they give a scorecard. They give you math proficiency, English proficiency, reading, okay. graduation rate. It, is it based on like standardized uh-huh. testing? Standardized testing, AP scores, people percent of people go to college, mm-hmm. all okay. that stuff. Okay. That being said, Menace's high school 
is still in the top 30% of all high schools nationwide. Thank you. Which is oh, insanely that is a sad state. Yeah, very, very sad. <laughs> That's a, they give it a 70 out of 100 as far as get all those things I just said. Reading, writing, graduation. So 70. Per, like out of 100. Like you're, okay. you're, you're a, you, you yeah. got a scorecard. Your final grade, let's say, mm-hmm. is a 70. So a, he's a C school. Exactly. Yeah. Which is super sad. Um, fun fact, Menace, your high school, uh, oh, 35% of the people get the free lunch program. So a lot of pores in there. That'll help out. And you're <laughs> lower that score, but also notable alumni menace. Yes, you really only got one, hmm. and that is uh, Christopher Titus, the comedian. Oh, oh no. and then, Titus went to your school. Yeah, he did. Oh, <laughs> I love him. Oh. Yeah. Oh. And my my buddy, who's a comedian, wants to do uh, the newer kings of comedy at like the local. I don't know. So it just be him. <laughs> so it's so Titus. Chris. Yeah, Chris, and then him. And when a you look at Wikipedia, because it has notable alumni for every uh-huh. school, and it's it's always a ton of baseball players. For yeah. every school, because oh, okay. that's there's a thousand. Right. Yeah, things. but we also had you probably don't even know who she is, but Eileen uh, Walter Roth, and she's like she's always in, she is the editor in chief of Teen Vogue. Oh, yeah, she was. Yeah. But how she did was, I not know that that name? <laughs> she's always on like the talk and all TV uh, constantly. Yeah, she is. And okay. she had, she's in the menace. Shout she out actually, to Eileen. All right, so <laughs> she actually wrote a book. Okay, Menace is dead last. Uh, uh, the other people in this room. Right, right, right. Exactly. Okay, second to last. Is Ravy. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Whoa. Plum Senior High School. I now, knew it. It's still in the top 24% <laughs> of high schools in uh-huh. the country. But yeah, it's uh, they have a scorecard rating of 76, uh, mm-hmm. 50%, 15% on the free lunch program. Uh, college readiness for Ravy's High School? Yep. 24 out of 100. So oh, <laughs> not, bad. not good test, standardized Plumble. tests, not okay. good AP okay. scores. Jeez, Plum. Uh, what the hell, Plum? Math and science are in the 75 percentile, so that's not bad. Reading's 84 percentile. Uh, notable alumni for Ravy's school. Besides Ravy, right? Pat Besides, McAfee. Yeah, it's just Pat McAfee. <laughs> yeah. And by the way, we we in this room did not show up on the notable alumni list because oh. not, none of us have Wikipedia pages. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've got uh, Pat right. McAfee and Stephen Fabian of Inside Edition. Oh, Ooh, terrific. Nice. Baby. Nice. That's that's Pat Steve. McAfee. Lucky. <laughs> All right. So Menace. And He's then the just worst. above uh, is Ravy. And just, well, actually, quite a bit above Ravy is Greg Gorey. Okay. Wow. Hey. The Terra Linda High School is in the top 14% of high schools nationwide. Okay. An 85 scorecard. Quite, quite 85? Good. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, I'll take it. I'll take a 39% wow. in the free lunch program, which is interesting. I didn't uh, even know they had one. <laughs> what, what we didn't that? have a cafeteria. 39%. 39%. Okay, this is hmm. today. It's not 50 years ago. Right. right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. When I was a freshman... There, we had a smoking section. That's, That's awesome. how long ago it was. <laughs> <laughs> like, and then on orientation, okay, if you want to smoke, you go over here. And then we had uh, what they call open campus. So at lunch, if you smoked, you would, because they ended that when I was a sophomore. So if you wanted to smoke, you had to walk like 100 yards away. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, it was a big That's hassle. when I first started figuring out the cigarettes were bad for you. <laughs> yeah, what was the smoking age? Uh, was it so not 18? Probably just, 16. Yeah, no, I don't think there was an age, <laughs> as far as I know. No really Way cared. back when. Yeah. <laughs> Which is weird. Now, you have pretty yeah. low results in reading, writing, and math. You guys are uh, in science. You're 32. Math, you're 45. But you are noted uh, as only 48% of college readiness. But again, that's still that oh, number. Wow. I guess it's a high graduation rate that plays into that. Okay. Uh, notice, notable alumni besides okay, Greg Gorey. I have no idea. I don't think anybody. Yeah, almost nobody. Yeah. You've got uh, Barry O'Brien. He is the uh, best known, it says, for creating Hannah Montana. Oh, oh wow. great. Well done, the Barry. The creator of Hannah Montana. Oh, that's dope. And I can't believe they included this. Scott Trimble, a location scout known for his work on Iron Man 2. <laughs> Way to go, Scott. Oh, location scout. Wow. wow. That's big. Oh, that's and big. you've got Joe Ayub. You guys know that Joe Ayub. He was a yeah. Cal Golden Bears quarterback and paper airplane world record holder. Oh, okay. oh that's <laughs> badass. I mean, so, big stars super cool. come Those out are of pretty, that. Super pretty cool. weak <laughs> for Greg's high school. Yes. Okay. All right, so that leaves Sammy and Woody. And Ravy. No, you Ravy. All, yeah. You Ravy, where I heard. Right. But I said Woody would and be. And Ravy, your one. guess, as I was about to finish my sentence, was completely accurate. Mount Lebanon High School, Nailed top it. 4% of high schools nationwide. Check wow. it out. They give it a scorecard ranking of 96.48. Uh, number three in uh, Pittsburgh, PA. You're really, you actually break the top 100 for STEM high schools. That's science, techno- uh, technology, engineering, and math. Uh, only 10% on the free lunch program. So that's good. Mm-hmm. Doing great. Uh, 55 out of 100 for college readiness. Obviously, Woody played into that number. Oh, man, they pressured me so hard. I'm like, I'm already working full time doing the job that I would go to college to do. Mm -hmm. Why would I go to college 
but I'm already doing the job. I mean, they're probably shocked that the, you weren't interested in college because, right. like you said, the majority of them go. Yeah, but it didn't make any sense. Yeah. Like, why would I go to college to lay off? And the laundry get a list of famous alumni. Yes. Yeah, as you, long as your arm. What is, is the most famous high school you've got? Uh, of course, we said Mark Cuban. His younger brother, Brian Cuban, <laughs> FYI. Whole no, uh, <laughs> family. Other radio guys, Scott Farrell. Kurt yep. Angle, a professional, a yep. professional and amateur a wrestler. Yep. Uh, uh, Menace, I'm not Menace. Ravy, Joe mm-hmm. Mangiano, oh, Manginello, I know. Manginello. Oh, right. uh, yeah, Jillian he graduated, Jacobs. He graduated my class. That's right. Dave Filoni, Ravy. Oh, uh, well to trust me, I know. Yep. Tell, tell, we'll tell the folks who <laughs> Dave Filoni is. I mean, he is the second greatest creator of Star Wars content behind George Lucas, the Mandalorian guy. Uh, As just one of many, many things. Yeah, but I mean, you know. I mean, he's a... not as well known for The Mandalorian. That's more John Favreau. Yeah, yeah. But he started in animation with the Clone Wars. Right. As you guys know. Yeah, everybody yeah, knows. Uh, as you yeah. know. Thanks for wasting you got a former time, astronaut right. in there, Terry Hart, but then a bunch, a bunch of uh, p- players for baseball and football, which leaves Sammy's, which is not bad, Valencia High School, top 11% nationally, a uh, overall scorecard of 89.88. Notable alumni in Sc- Sammy's school. A lot of actors and actresses. You yep. got uh, Taylor Lautner, of course. Mm-hmm. Ashley Tisdale. Yep. Taylor Dooley. Yeah. And Taylor. Shane, Shane Vereen. Yes, oh, Shane Vereen. Wow. The Shane Vereen. Yeah. Nice. He played for the Patriots. He played for the Bears. And the Giants. Class of 07. Oh, no. His brother pa- played for the Bears. Sorry. There you go. Uh, so that's, uh, that's your uh, rankings You missed there. Naya Rivera. R.I.P. Yeah. Oh, all right. What's she do? She was she in was Glee. She was on Glee. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there she is. Yeah. Class yep. of 05. Oh, yeah, she was the one yeah, who was out that? in the ocean and, yeah. No, not in the, the ocean. Lake. Like, oh, the, the lake. lake. The lake. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. Naya. With, with her, Peru. With her kid. Yeah. Were there any of these famous ones with you in your class? Uh, Naya Rivera was in my class. Uh, Shane Vereen was two years younger than me, but he was, I had classes with him. Okay. Uh, Ashley Tisdale was my sister's age. And Taylor Lautner was my brother's age. Yeah, so, so they're all kind of, yeah, it, within the range. A relatively rich high school close to L.A. You're going to have a lot of actors and actresses. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Makes yeah. sense there. Uh, you want to hear what my notable yes. alumni are from uh, Montgomery yes. Bell Academy? I got, mm-hmm. I, as you might imagine, it's Besides very- Besides Seabass. Besides Seabass. Mm-hmm. It is very, uh, it's rich and hoity-toity, so I've got a ton of, i got mayors, senators, judges, local, like, state Supreme Court people. But as far as, like, popular people, uh, not a whole lot. we got athletes. i got uh, Brant Snedeker. Anybody? Brant Snedeker? Oh, yeah. Snedeker. So yeah. Sure. Yep. He's a golfer. He was golfer. a year yep. younger than I am. Crushes it. Uh, Hunter Hillenmeyer. I actually grew up with him. He played for the Bears. Uh, we, we played... See, Hunter Hillenmeyer. We, we grew up playing so- uh, baseball, basketball, and football together. We were essentially the same person. Hmm. Until he grew like six inches. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then he played for the damn Bears. Yeah. yeah. Like, that, that's, oh. oh, what could have been? Could have yeah. <laughs> been. But yeah, it's uh, well Bartholomew. I played with him a little bit, but yeah, a lot, a lot of uh, local politicians, senators, and so on and so forth from my high school. Well, there are the uh, the high school rankings, you guys. Yeah. All right, dead last. What are you number one? Yeah, dude, yeah, there's so much pressure at Mount Lebanon for you know SATs, prep. I would not have guessed because yeah, college stuff. everything I'm reading, like Matt Raby said, that's a mm-hmm. great high school, and yeah. then Woody's not big on learning. <laughs> <laughs> it's surprising. Yeah. Well, you know. It's like uh, you know what you need to know. Ravy's Ravy's school uh, mm-hmm. maybe not so hot. That's right. But I mean, look, she's. But the, I had a deeper interest in learning. Right, a deeper interest <laughs> in learning with all the fixins. Right, exactly. But the other thing that, again that struck me is all of these are in the top half at least right. of national, which means there are some bad. Oh, that bad. is so yeah. frightening. Yeah. Yep. All right, we're going to take a quick break. Uh, phones are open eight seven seven forty four Woody. You can hit us up with a text over to two two nine eight seven. And, uh, oh, here, I went to the same high school as Sam and I got to host Homecoming with Ashley Tisdale. Lucky. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I was the Woo. same year as Shane Vereen. Lucky. Wow. Oh, my God. Yeah, Mark Cuban uh, was in my mom's graduating class. Right. Because when he became, like, famous, she's like, wait a minute. <laughs> she went back to the yearbook. Hey. Yep, there he is. He's a she billionaire. Should, she should have banged him. <laughs> yeah. Well, we did that interview with him, remember? Yeah. And he remembered exactly who my mom was. I'm like, right. you could have been my dad? Should have been. Oh, babe. Wow. Like, he was very, I'm like, almost to where I was like, hmm, did he have, like, some kind of weird crush on her at the time, or was right. he just, like, that well, aware? More than likely. That aware of what was, uh, oh, yeah, she was in the, you know, she was in the, the they did a play, Carousel, you know. Oh, yeah, oh, Carousel. Oh. <laughs> nice. And, uh, yeah, oh, and she did this. She did, I'm like, yeah, how do you know that? Wow. That's her. It's crazy. This is a big school. A lot of kids. Yeah. All right, more uh, Woody Show's next. Hang on.